So, yeah, I'm not like the biggest AFK journey guy yet. Uh, like, I don't play it off stream. I mostly keep it like as a stream game, kind of. Uh, well, I mean, I pick up the rewards and stuff, but like, I don't do story unless I'm like on stream and stuff. But apparently, there's a new season coming out, right? And they made a video for that. So, I'm gonna check it out. It looks interesting. Cool. The journey of Merlin and companions continues. They came a long way and finally discovered a new continent seldom stepped upon by outsiders. Okay, so a new area. Ashen Wastes. Cool. Ashen Wastes is a barren wasteland where not a single blade of grass grows. Resources are scarce, the climate is harsh, and deadly threats lurk everywhere. Mm -hmm. These desolate sands were once a flourishing civilization, now lost to centuries of fighting. Are we gonna like go meet the like the molars, Here, right? Merlin encounters some new characters from Malu, Alsa yeah. and Soren. Together, they face the trials of the Warsong Festival and risk their lives to investigate the sinister plots of the Adamant Syndicate. But Merlin's return to the so is still yeah, a mystery. Also, Can she's my main he tank. find new clues on this new continent? Oh, she's dead. Okay. You know what? This game is like... It's so interesting. Your most familiar dolly from Noble Hello. Tavern is here. I'm looking. Hear me out. The brand new season, Song of Strife, is about to unfold. Yep. I've heard quite a bit of news at the tavern, and I'd love to share it with you all today. Drinks and snacks are getting prepared, and they'll be served on your table in just a while. Before that, let me share the news I've gathered. Magister Merlin is arriving at a whole new continent, Ashen Wastes, meeting new companions, Alsa and Soren. In the Song of Strife season, they'll go through the unprecedented trial of the Warsong Festival to prove their might. Ashen Wastes is the most expansive desert I've ever heard of. The sun sears everything. I'm getting PTSD from desert. Life continues to thrive from here, a particular game. Tribes creating connections, thriving with a variety of interesting cultures. The Warsong Festival takes place every ten years at the Sunseek Arena. Participants coming from different tribes. Everyone undergoes multiple trials, all striving for victory. In the legend of Dusklord, the champion of the Warsong Festival is known as Ultimate Honor. The ultimate glory a tribe could win. Most importantly, okay. who's joining and changing Magister Merlin's journey are Alsa and Soren. Allow me, Dolly, to introduce to everyone these two younglings from Uru Clan. Let's start with Alsa, the enthusiastic girl. Gonna be OP. Alsa is an orphan. But she never blames others for what she went through. She's cheerful and helpful, a rock-type mage with a strong sense of justice. Elsa's skill, Stone Barrier, summons the power of the Earth to damage and stun her target for a set period of time. Beyond that, a multi-tile rock pillar will form behind the target, which can block enemy attacks. Enemies originally located at the tile of the rock pillar will be knocked back. Multiple pillars Ooh, okay. can exist at the same time, but in limited numbers and can be destroyed. Okay, so only two looks in like. such a hazardous environment, it's not always the best to strike first. Sometimes it's smarter to stay True. alive and retreat. And Alsa understands just that. When she releases her ultimate skill, Twirling Rocks, Alsa will move to the target location and cause damage to enemies within range. Then, hmm. she will enter the combat stance, during which Alsa will have two new abilities. Oh, so oh, she transforms. First, she curls up into a ball, quickly strikes the target to cause stun, and then bounces back to her original position. Once she acquires her exclusive skill, Dawn of Terra, the more she rolls in the combat stance state, the stronger the subsequent impact, and the more she avoids damage. Secondly, when Alsa herself receives a high amount of damage within a range, she curls up again and hides far away. 
Each curl up will consume energy, but when okay. she recovers, she will gain extra shields. Alsa's other skill, Repel Sweep, can perfectly complement these two control type skills. She senses the vibration of the earth, finding all enemies that have been controlled recently. She'll then create okay. falling rocks above their heads to cause damage. This makes her a control type mage who can create terrains. Now, how about her brother? Alsa's brother, on the other hand, is called Soren. But displacement Soren ma grew up displacement Alsa mage. And is always there to protect her when needed. Even though Soren appears cold, he's exceptionally kind to his own people. I think all displacement cats are right now, they're all physical, the right? To protect. Can't think of a mage. Oh, there's like the grave guy. Gives him the whatever his name is. The gems around the but he does physical, no? I don't know. Allies, or which are being obstructed by terrain. He then deals damage to them with an enhanced basic attack that also knocks back. If the target hits any characters, terrain, or stage borders during knockback, okay. it will receive extra damage and a stun. Ah, oh, and Alsa could create terrains. Don't they complement each other perfectly? Besides Repel Swing, right. Soren's ultimate skill, Whirlwind Swing, also has a similar effect. He selects a tile on the map, leaps and quickly smashes down, causing damage and a knockback to enemies within range. Similarly, like an AOB, if the then. target hits any characters, terrain or stage borders during knockback, extra damage and a stun will apply. Soren is very well prepared. That's so interesting. For years for the day to protect Uru clan. He never doubted moving forward on the path of becoming an undefeated warrior because his other two skills provide him with additional effects. When Soren receives a single attack damage that exceeds 10% of his maximum health, his skill Deflecting Swing will reduce damage from this attack by 70%. It will also trigger Repel okay. Sweep once. This trigger oh. does not affect the cooldown time of Repel Sweep itself. So Finally, like combo. his exclusive skill is Dusk Rejuvenation. When his health falls below 50%, the skill activates a mysterious power that strengthens Dusk's blessing, increasing his speed and lasting for a set period of time. Well, no one would have thought that young-looking Soren would have such great power. Let's hope that in this journey, I don't know, man. I don't know if it's gonna be young, but he seems dreams. like he requires They've a lot of setup, right? And he can be like counted. Hundred. In the oh new Song God. of Strife season, Magister Merlin, along with Alsa and Soren, will challenge the trials to obtain ultimate honor. This is the highest honor of the War Song Festival. Yep. Throughout the journey, they will encounter interesting treasures and new monsters across Hesperia. This new game mode is called Bestial Brawl. In this newly discovered land, there exist Iron Jaws, an intriguing monster that resides in specific cool territory puzzle. and guards it without mercy. Bestial Brawl is one of the main new puzzle mechanics of the new season. When Magister Merlin enters the territory of Iron Jaws, they launch an attack. These monsters don't attack with the regular 5v5 combat forms. Instead, they push away the intruder until they're expelled from the territory. To obtain the treasures here, Magister Merlin needs to find ways to evade Iron Jaws. It could even be advised to crush obstacles for hidden treasures. Mm. However, as the saying goes, the most dangerous place is the safest. And the safest place is the best hideout for shiny treasures. Let's look at the brand new Treasure Quest gameplay. All you need to do is have a chat with treasure hamsters across the wilds and in some towns and start treasure hunting. For that, you'll need this new item, Loot Detector. By placing loot detectors at various places, you can discover the general direction of hidden treasures. However, the range and distance that loot detectors can reveal is limited, and only a fixed number of detectors can exist in the area. So make good use of them! In addition to Bestial Brawl and Treasure Quest, the new season also introduces a special mechanic, Raging Duel. Here, both parties have a value called Rage. 
By triggering specific conditions, they can accumulate rage, which, when full, provides the entire team with a large amount of buffs until the battle ends. Raging Duel is a special mechanism that can be experienced in some levels, but not all battles. So cool. pay I extra mean, yeah. attention when they're triggered. This new journey is so rich in experiences, but I've heard of more than just these. With the arrival of the new season, heroes will be able to become stronger in new ways to meet new challenges. I would like to introduce to you the all new Magic no. Charms. More from grinding. Magic Charms are seasonal. So okay. let's say if they're obtained in the Song of Strife season, they'll be effective for and only for this season. Each hero can equip three charms, each of which can provide extra bonus stats. Each charm can be identified as one of these five qualities. Okay. Rare, elite, epic, legendary, or mythic. Wow, look at these charms. They shine through your soul, don't they? Moreover, if you collect the same or higher quality charms, you can activate the hero's seasonal prowess. The seasonal prowess brought by higher quality charms is also stronger. Getting charms is very simple. You just steal them like none other than Vala. <laughs> just kidding. Where can Magister Merlin find charms? Through the brand new seasonal battle mode, Dura's Trial. Okay. Tales have it that goddess Dura has a deep history with Asperia. Yet, I haven't found more information about this lost past. If you know anything, please tell me. Oh, back to this new seasonal mode. Dura's Trial is an all-new PvE mode where you'll find quite a few charm resources. Each tower has its own progress, and you'll get random rewards each time you pass a floor. This, of course, includes charms for all heroes. Clearing all floors will also provide additional rewards. Charms obtained in Dura's Trial provide heroes seasonal prowess, a progression that is easy to manage on a seasonal basis. Sure, yeah. Speaking of new seasons, the timing of Magister Merlin's departure varies in Asperia. In order to make each journey full of fun, each new season will provide a new experience. One of them is the newly added seasonal skill system this season. Seasonal skill is new content for every new season. In the long run, each new season will bring along new seasonal skill and a different level up experience. When the hero's season level reaches 51, seasonal skill will be unlocked and its level will gradually increase with the season level. At the end of the season, all season levels will be cleared and converted into essence used for upgrading resonance synergy. To welcome Magister Merlin, who arrives in Hesperia at different timings, certain seasonal progressions will be refreshed every season. In addition, a brand new event, Supreme Arena, will open every Wednesday to Sunday. This is a cross-server caliber clash event. Magister oh. Merlin can challenge the higher ranked Magisters across all of Hesperia in this best of three multi-team mode. In Supreme Arena, the stage of the defensive side changes regularly. For example, some stages contain asymmetrical layouts or even tiles that can hide heroes, which is very interesting. The winner takes all, and not winning is okay, because there's no penalty here. Finally, the new uh, season yes. will also bring along new artifacts. I but like those exactly main picking words. And how will Magister Merlin acquire them? So much to uncover in this season. The Song of Strife season is arriving in the land of Hesperia. Magister Merlin and companions will discover Ashen Wastes, meet Alsa and Soren, challenge the trials of the War Song Festival, and form new bonds with Uru Clan. Through charms obtained from Dura's trial and a variety of new seasonal skill, the new season is bringing new powers to all heroes. The new Song of Strife season will be available 42 days after the initial creation of each server, the earliest available date being May 10th. What kind of unknowns and challenges oh. will Magister Merlin encounter? That's like <laughs> so very exciting. In a couple of days. <laughs> uh, the drinks and snacks are ready. 
timing is just right. Come and have a try and let me know how they taste, all right? Oh, that's, that's a big one. Yeah, that's... And there it is. I like that. That was like, that was like high quality, but it was like short and like concise, you know? Um, even if it was just like a yapping session, it was like a good yapping session, you know? I don't know. But yeah. She's pretty good. I mean, I really like the game. Uh, she's like, if I had a little bit more time to play it, that would be nice. But there you go. Cool. Yeah, don't really know what else to say. Can't wait. Um, again, I'm not really like at the end game yet. Well, like I said, like, I'm going to finish the story. So I'd love to do that. Uh, we might do that in these next couple of days. After I get done with Hong Kong Star. But yeah, there you go. If you like, like and subscribe.